As we are now about to worship and adore the Lord in these moments of adoration and benediction, looking at the Eucharistic bread, let's come to the realization that the risen Lord is with us. As he was appearing to his disciples, he greeted them with peace. The same Lord, at this time looking at each one of us during these moments of worship and adoration, especially from this Eucharistic bread, greeting and blessing each one of us with his peace. Let us open our heart, mind and soul. Let his peace and joy reign our hearts. Let us just be present to the Lord. Let us just be with the Lord at this time as we are with all our heart, mind and soul and strength. Let us present ourselves to the Lord. Let His joy and peace fill our hearts. We spend a few moments in the presence of our Lord. Remember in the Gospel today, according to Saint Matthew, we read these women who heard that Jesus was risen by the angels while they were returning with joy Jesus came against them and greeted them now they bent before them holding on to his feet worshipped him let us have the same heart of those women joyful to see the risen Lord with the same heart let us worship and adore the Lord in silence.
it's time to sing you so The gospel we reflected today during the holy eucharistic celebration especially on the octave of easter the joyful week that we still celebrate the re- resurrection of the lord we see two sets of people first one who are joyful about the resurrection of the lord the second group of people those who brought jesus to death trying to hide the very truth of the resurrection of the lord
bribing the guards and telling them to proclaim the lie that Jesus body was taken from the tomb by his disciples still there are people who deliberately hide the truth trying to confuse and trying to pull away people from the lord let us pray for them at this time let us pray for their conversion leaving them into the sacred heart of jesus asking for the divine mercy to flow upon them to change and transform their heart we pray for them that let them accept the truth and they find freedom in believing that truth the truth of the resurrection of the lord the truth that jesus brought the truth of salvation that jesus brought through his passion death and resurrection the deliverance jesus brought through his passion death and resurrection and as the first group of people we see those women who heard the proclamation by the angels and testified for themselves they saw it for themselves the empty tomb and believed in the proclamation of the angels that he is not here he is risen indeed the lord is risen they believed it and when they believed it their hearts were filled with the joy that the lord has won over death itself and as they are returning Jesus greets them and awards them with a responsibility to witness and proclaim his resurrection the truth of resurrection first to his brothers those apostles and then to the whole world Yes, sisters and brothers in Christ all those who believe in the truth of the resurrection of the Lord they have this this responsibility of proclaiming that truth to everyone around us all those whom we meet in our life all those places where we go and involve starting from our family to the outsiders even to the people those who do not know Christ who have not even heard of Christ and in the divine mercy chaplet during the novena we prayed for those souls who do not even know Christ today so we have the responsibility of proclaiming and our proclamation has doubled the effect when we proclaim that with the same joy that the risen lord fills our hearts with with the same hope that is active and working within us meaning even in those moments of burdens moments of struggle moments of difficulties how do we respond to those situations do we lose our heart or do we hope in the lord
that is a witness that has double the effect than our words our life becomes a witness to the risen lord as saint paul mentions in his letter to the romans chapter 8 verses 11 if the spirit of the risen lord is within you your mortal bodies also will have life yes dear sisters and brothers let us have that spirit of the risen lord within us that holy spirit that thrives within us and helps us to thrive above all our struggles and problems at this time let us ask of jesus that grace never to lose the spirit of the risen lord never to lose the joy of the risen lord never to lose that hope in the risen lord oh lord increase our faith we pray Let us spend a few moments in interceding for the prayer request of others. All those in our family. Especially we remember all those who have taken decisions for their life. Decisions regarding wedding. so for and pray all those who are struggling around the world with covid impacts all those who are hospitalized all those who lost to their job and livelihood all those who are stranded in different parts of the world All those who are still sorrowful over the demise of their beloved ones in this season of COVID. All those who are vulnerable to this situation. All those who are exposed to COVID-19. The process of vaccination around the globe. Let us pour out unto the Lord all our prayers. From Divine Retreat Center, Lord, we lift up all the prayer intentions that we have received here. All the services we have this weekend. The Divine Mercy Residential Retreat. also the divine mercy sunday celebration on the 11th the feast of divine mercy lo we lift up all those who are worshiping you and adoring you at this time from different parts of the world through the social media Have mercy upon them, O Lord, we pray. We trust 
trust in you, Abba Father. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let us now kneel down before the Lord as we are entering into the moments of benediction and we sing together down in adoration falling. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen.
Mm-hmm.